since the beginning of the last century. We have been known as a community with the most polluted lake in the United States of America, and it's because we've spent a long time treating our tributaries and our lake as an open sewer, and we are now stopping that and we're trying to reverse the damage that's been done. There are big things that this community did wrong with respect to Onondaga Lake historically. We let some of the biggest manufacturers use the lake to dump waste. As a result, in 1940, swimming was banned in the lake. In 1970, fishing was banned in the lake because of the high levels of mercury in the fish. And we are now turning that around. Onondaga County is under a consent order to include green infrastructure components. So our initial focus is in the city of Syracuse. The sewer system and the stormwater system in the city of Syracuse is combined, as it is in many cities across the United States. During big rain events or snow melt, we overflow that system into Onondaga Creek, which makes its way into Onondaga Lake. And that has historically happened more than 50 times a year. And when you've combined your stormwater with your sewage and you have an overflow, you're dumping raw sewage into Onondaga Lake without ever having been treated. If we can keep the stormwater out of the system, then we have fewer incidents where the sewage is overflowing, and then we also are spending our resources only treating what really needs to be treated. Save the Rain is a comprehensive program here in Syracuse and Onondaga County to balance green infrastructure with more traditional gray infrastructure. We committed this year to 50 separate projects with a green infrastructure component in our effort by 2018 to have captured 250 million gallons and kept that rainwater out of our system. We're able to work in a public-private partnership and there are buildings in our downtown Syracuse now that are privately owned that have green roofs on them because of our Save the Rain program. The Onondaga County Convention Center has a flat roof that is more than 60,000 square feet and it was planted with sedum and now we have one of the largest green roofs in the Northeast. That project alone will keep a million gallons out of our system annually, that one roof on our convention center. Right next door, we have our arena where our professional hockey team plays. They are now the only professional hockey team in the United States that's skating on a rink that's made of rainwater. We're able to retain and capture 2,500 gallons of rainwater, filter it, very minimally treat it, and to use that captured rainwater for the ice and all the maintenance water uses. That includes irrigation of plantings and vegetation and lawn areas around the building. That includes irrigating the acre and a half green roof that we have on our convention center next door. That includes laundry services. Our well's never gone dry. If you go through the city of Syracuse now and talk to neighbors, they will tell you that we have made their neighborhoods more beautiful. We've planted trees, We've got rain gardens, we've got green roofs, we've got rain barrels. That's compared to what we did very recently, which was level a neighborhood and build a sewage treatment plant with this new solution of green infrastructure. We've enhanced those neighborhoods. It's a much better solution. Skitty Park is in an urban neighborhood in Syracuse that has one of the most impoverished census tracts in the United States of America. Because we're required to clean Onondaga Lake, instead of a sewage treatment plant, we're building basketball courts out of porous pavement to capture the water and to clean it more naturally. It's better for the environment, it's great for the kids. It's one of the examples that I like to show people what I mean when we talk about green infrastructure. Save the Rain is an industry that didn't exist. Now there is an opportunity for disadvantaged people to learn how to install and maintain green infrastructure. And now there are people who have real job opportunities because we have a real demand in this community for green infrastructure and not very many people who knew how to do it. So it's, it's been a wonderful opportunity for people. The only benefit 
to being the community with the most polluted lake is that you end up owning all of the shoreline. So we now are sitting on an asset, a lake, inside a municipal setting that we are building trails around and we have a comprehensive plan for how we want that lake to look in the future. We're starting to get pressure for development and that is a good thing. The idea that people want to be on Onondaga Lake is something that you couldn't have convinced people of 20 years ago. Save the Rain is one of the things I'm most proud of. It is a very environmentally friendly way to solve a problem that a lot of communities around the United States have had. And when you see what we're doing now and the benefit to the neighborhoods, I think everybody who becomes aware of it will sign up.